Maybe we can make like a Nico Rosberg supercar blondie supercar. Electric. That would, that would sound pretty awesome. That'd be awesome. Deal? Done. Let's work towards it. Who wants one? <laughs> Put your order. Now's your chance. Your order in Now's yet. your chance. Pre-order today. Be you get 10% off pre-orders right now. Sale, sale, sale. <laughs> Nico Rosberg is shooting with him today. Look how excited he is because he's around an electric car. <laughs> Look at him, you can't, can't wipe the smile off his face. He's fully into an electric future. So we thought we'd come over to Mercedes and look at their kind of vision for the future and electric cars. This is the Vision EQS. So it's kind of looking to what the S series would be in, in future. I've grabbed him. He's put his camera down. He's a YouTuber now, guys, so it's it's kind of attached to you most of the time now, right? A little bit, yeah. Okay, so you've given up your camera, although you've still got two more cameras trained on us. <laughs> we have one little bit disappointing news, Yeah, though. what's this? We're not allowed to go inside. Oh, I know, I know. I am disappointed. I really thought by now, like, all you can open any doors. I know, me too. Like, all of them. They also said no to me. But so, what we're gonna no. do is, I'm gonna actually fly back this is going to Tokyo in a month's time. So I'm going to fly to Tokyo just for this car. Are you and going there seriously? Yeah, yeah. And oh, they're going to open on. the doors and we can drive it through Tokyo. So Are you serious? Yeah, 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 yeah. You want to come? Yeah, I wish. Okay. Oh, I, can't go, I can't go to Tokyo. <laughs> you can't go to Tokyo. Why not, man? Just my, jump on a plane. My, my wife is going to say, <laughs> Are you nuts? crazy? You're going with uh, Alex to Tokyo to drive the EQS through Tokyo? Not going to happen. No. <laughs> so I just have to find you. So Nico is, of course, an F1 champion 2016. He's now based in Monaco. Where exactly? 31 Avenue Boulevard de la Belgique. Is that real? Huh? No. <laughs> okay. Don't go there. You won't find him. He's not going to be there. Does that address even exist? Yes, it does. Oh no! Do you know how many people? There. The yeah. poor guy who lives there. <laughs> going to be ringing. Can, can we talk about the car? I know what's you're your, super excited. Okay. Your, no, honestly, I love it. What's your impression? This is hard to review, really, because you can't look inside. You can't yeah. really see many of its features. But fan, generally. Yeah, yeah. Of you the can shape. Just, you can just say it's awesome from out from outside. And yeah. And believe that Mercedes is going to make the technology awesome as well. Come on, Mercedes. Right? We believe in Mercedes. It's quite so. nice here, isn't it? how it kind of fades into the glass there. I love anything new. I love all the things, the cool stuff that people come up with, think outside the box. I love this hologram light here. The headlights yeah, are holograms, people. So wait until, wait, there you go, there you go. That's nuts. That is nuts. That's cool, huh? That is completely nuts. And then it kind of like fades away into all of these dots. And it also shows you the battery life of the car. It comes up like in rotation. And then this whole front here lights up, which is really cool as well. But it's not doing that right now. I don't know, I need to like click my fingers or something and hopefully we're, the lights we're, we're will come on. Yeah. The line I find really, really beautiful. Now, I'm trying to remember what this reminds me of. It is like a, uh, like a C63 kind of C63? shape, right? I'm trying to, trying to remember. From over and down, right? It kind of goes like this. It does. What about the inside? Well, I like the spotlights. I think that's a nice feature. <laughs> Might need to move them out so you can fit your legs in, but I like that. I'm always so disappointed that they never actually make the cars the way the concept cars I know, are. That, I that's, know. that's so. Me too. I, don't, I never understand because they're so cool every time, and then the real one comes out and it's like all different. And yeah. They did that, you know, when they did that with the EQC. The oh, EQC yeah. concept. I can't remember. The that inside one. was quite similar to this, actually. Was it? And then the real one comes out, and it's and like it was normal. It didn't change much from the from the um, from the GLC. Do you know what I love about electric cars coming out now is that they do kind of look like concept cars. Yeah, they've, that's true. They've pushed. They've yeah, really pushed true, the design uh, barriers. Yeah. Whereas with the normal kind of petrol engine cars, they don't push it that much. They come out with a crazy concept and yeah. then they kind of pull back from but that, don't they? Most of the time though, it's also because it's like small company startups yeah. who can just go nuts and do whatever they want, I think. That's true, I think that's that true. Plays, a, plays a big role as So well. let's have a look around the back. What's going on here? I mean, 
the alarm might go. Oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> I, might, I might have to touch. <laughs> I haven't touched it yet either. Well, there you go. Oh, that's exciting. That's exciting. It's actually holes. That's like a little red light behind there. That's cool. Oh, I really like, you can see it better from this side because of the lights. This light here, and then all of these internal lights here on the seat. Look at that. That is really cool. I get excited by the small things. Have you driven the, have you driven a car with mirrors like that? Yes, I have. Yeah. Um, the Lotus has them, are, are the we? Avaya. And also, what else have I driven? The Audi, there was one uh, the Q, that we just did. The e I haven't driven that yet. No. You? Yeah. You have? Yeah. Oh, and, but man. It's so is it on your channel? Yeah. Go check it out on his oh, channel. Oh, actually, is it? Not yet. Oh. It's coming soon. It's coming soon. Audi e-tron. It's out. It's out. It's out. It's out. When? It's out. Like oh my god. Three months ago. There you I go. missed it. <laughs> I'm going to check it out too. You better go and check out your own video. That's but it's cool. really awkward because it's a screen now. Yeah, yeah. And it's in a different place too, obviously. Yeah. So it's like down. You gotta know where and, to look, uh, right? To, to trust it like takes a bit of time. That's true. But then of course it's awesome. This gives you this gives you five percent more range, if I'm not mistaken. Yep. So it's like it's quite a big, big impact. Bugatti Vision GT. So oh, I was yeah. just just sitting in that one. What they've got there on the dash, right, is they've got the cameras on either side and then one at the back. And what it does is on the dash, it actually merges all three cameras so there's not a split screen. So you're seeing the whole the whole one view. Panoramic. Panoramic view. Thank you for the word. Well, is it like that in the e-tron as uh, well? Or no, is it split? No, 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 no. They have it split. Yeah. It's like mirrors. Yeah. Just digital and, and, and split. split below. Yeah. I know you're, that you're kind of electric fan we spoke about it on the way here in the car and that's going to be on your channel but i just wanted to know in your perspective why why are you such a fan of electric cars now because obviously former formula one driver first of all i love the performance yeah. because the electric cars were getting 2000 horsepower 2000 yeah. one, you of, can't these, deny one it. of these cars is not gonna, that's not possible yeah. so 2000 horsepower the accelerations are absolutely never seen before stuff and that's the Evaya, the Remax C2, for yeah. example, Pininfarina Batista, yeah. and a few, few Which others. you're looking to maybe get. So yeah, the but, concept uh, to, what were you saying, 1.8 seconds? So 1.85 seconds. That's mad. That is, in an F1 car, I used to do 2.6. In an F1 car, race start, maximum power, 2.6. And, and now you're thing, shaving off almost this a second. Thing, you shave off like 30%, this thing will do 1.85. Even, I think my stomach has even go out the back. Yeah. Well, it's going to be so, the, so shocking. The one time I was in a Tesla, I think yeah. it was 2.3 seconds. 2.1. 2.1. No, no, sorry, you're right. Two About 2.3, yeah, right? Yeah, yeah, two point uh, you literally have to put, you have to prepare for the acceleration. You have to put yeah. your head on the, on the headrest and go for it if you don't do that you literally slam your head backwards it is so quick guys in this amount of time you're at 100. and that's what i love about electric cars right but also the potential for positive impact right okay. for the future now okay this is a bit contra controversial let's address this because i know we're controversial. gonna controversial <laughs> just the way it is yeah but for the moment for the Not moment. controversial. Okay, let's talk about this. It's just factual. Right. It's Supercar Blondie facts coming right now. Why? Nico is all for electric cars and I also love hybrids. The thing is, is that people say, right, an electric car today is not more environmentally friendly than a well-made petrol car because of the way that electricity is still generated right in power plants etc etc however i think we're both on the same page here where it's also a mental shift and it's going to take time for people like us to get used to driving electric cars and also accept that electric cars is the future so if we do that change now if we get people used to that change all right we're already accepting hybrid cars electric cars they're cool let's go by the time electricity is generated in a safe way and more environmentally sustainable way, we'll already be used to the electric cars, right? Exactly. And that is where the big lever is for preserving our planet. Cool. It's when all the energy sources become renewable, yeah. then electric mobility will be so much more sustainable than anything a diesel or a petrol car can do today. But, and that's what we need to get to. And we need to just jumpstart that right now, right? I but mean, that's what we're doing, right? Yeah, exactly. We're showing Evaya, yeah. Remax. And they look so cool now. EQS. Yeah. 
the, the electric cars, like when, or say, no, say when the first kind of big hybrid came out, the Prius, we all just kind of vomited in our mouths and <laughs> said, no, we don't want hybrids because they're damn ugly. Uh, then what happened was this major shift. Tesla came out and then it was super quick and everyone's like, oh my God, it's the quickest car on the market. It's so cool, it's so cool. And then what's happened is now they're super quick, but they also look amazing exactly so exactly. we've got like the killer combo yeah still need to get the price down and still need oh, to yeah. increase the range true but once those things are done then it's going to take off are you going to are you looking to actually maybe manufacture your own electric car is that a goal at the moment no at the moment no, yeah. because it's too big a mission yeah but of course are you would, would you be in i kind of be in. Up? i mean for me that's kind of one of my goals really to, yeah i just i just said that for the this first is time. exclusive huh? this is exclusive this is exclusive news yeah that's one of my goals. So maybe we can make like a Nico Rosberg supercar on the supercar electric. That would, that would sound pretty awesome. That'd be awesome. Deal? Done. Let's work towards it. Who wants one? <laughs> Put your order. Now's Put your chance. Your order in, yeah. Now's your chance. <laughs> Pre-order today. Be limited. You get 10% off pre-orders right now. Sale, sale, sale. <laughs> I think that's it. Big thanks to you, Nico, for we finally met. It's great to meet you and so the nice rest of the you. family. Right? Yes. Massive thank you to my Supercar Bonding family. If you haven't joined yet, click the subscribe button. We're going to hunt down all the coolest people in the world and also the coolest cars and bring them to you. So make sure you hit the subscribe button, click that little bell so you're the first person to see the video when it's out. Right, for now, I think we're out, right? All right, love you. You got to do the kiss thing, Nico. Seriously? Yeah. <laughs> Bye.